So on today's episode of Let's Not Forget What the Fuck Happened, let's talk about Mr. Lucky Larry Silverstein. Now he was the owner of the World Trade Center, like you know the towers, he was the owner. Now Larry also had a doctor's appointment that day that got canceled, he says. So instead of showing up at the top of the World Trade Center, just like he done for his daily breakfast routine for years upon years, he decided to take a little stroll in New York City. So he survived the 9-11 attacks. Well, his family did too. Well, Lucky Larry just so happened to take out a large insurance policy on the World Trade Center like a couple weeks prior to the attacks. And the insurance policy explicitly included terrorist attacks. Now, Larry's daughter, Lisa, just so happened to miss this frightful day at work. Also, Larry's son was running late for work and missed all the hard Where were you on September 11th? Um, you know, uh, I was home. Um, and I, the only reason I wasn't where I was every morning, uh, subsequent to the 26th day of July, um, I was, my, my mornings were spent um, usually at a breakfast meeting at Windows, an 8 o'clock breakfast meeting, Windows, the top of it, right? and then going down to visit with my tenants, my new tenants at the trade center, getting to know them, understanding their problems and so forth, ascertaining how, I could, how we could service their needs better. Um, and uh, which is a first, first, one of the first things you do when you acquire a property. You begin to meet your, pe- meet your tenants and start talking with them. Um, and so my mornings were spent at the trade center. And then by noon I was back uptown. And, uh, um, and so that particular morning, uh, because I have I call it hair and fair skin, and uh, I'm a newity to the dermatologist. Yeah. Uh, my wife, God bless her, had made an appointment for me uh, at the doctor. And I remember dressing to go to the doctor. I finally saying to my wife, I said, sweetheart, I've got so much to do downtown. I've got to cancel this. I've got to go downtown. And she said, you're not going to cancel this appointment. You're going to the dermatologist. You know, having been married now for the, to the same woman for 46 years, you, you get the sense of determination on occasion, their voices. And I said, okay, okay, yes, dear, I'll go. I'll go. And then just minutes later, I uh, received a telephone call to turn on a television set and witnessed this horrendous circumstance. Uh, the first plane hitting and then the second plane hitting, of course, with the second hit. Uh, it became obvious that this was terrorism. Uh, but uh, thereafter was uh, absolute hell uh, because so many of our people were down there. Uh, we were in occupancy, temporary occupants of the 88th floor uh, of the North Tower uh, prior to moving permanently into the 91st floor of the North Tower. And so uh, uh, my children, two of my children, uh, Roger and Lisa, both work with me. Uh, they were on their way to work at 9 o'clock. Uh, many others, you know, about 100 people with us uh, on their way to work. Uh, and uh, as it turns out, had the plane struck 15 minutes later, uh, our firm would have been decimated. Um, um, as it is, we lost four of our people, uh, two of whom I had hired just a few weeks prior to that. Uh, and uh, there were six children among them. Uh, and it was, a, uh, it was a horrendous, horrendous experience.